All right, says, what's next? Okay, so you did a really good job on this template. Thanks. So what we're gonna do it. now is we gotta make the parts. All right. But what I wanna do is put one more mark on here that you'll see what it's for in, in a little while. Okay. Okay, is I took the original piece, okay, and this is 25 millimeters long. I divided it in half. You see the little tick mark I put there? Yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece and match it up just like this, making sure that the top of the horns are even. And the reason I'm doing this is I could put this exactly in the center, but I, the tension won't be where I need it. Okay, this is why I love using an old piece or an old saw like this. It takes all the guesswork out of there for me. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna scribe this line and you're gonna see what that's for in just a little while. Okay, where I can, can take that now and continue it. Ooh. So that'll help me when we reference this board on the right face to get that exactly in the center for our stre stretcher with the eight millimeter domino. Makes sense. Okay. All right, Sedge, what's next? Okay, so the process is we have our template and we're gonna lay out the template on these two pieces of cherry. Okay. This is gonna be our saw frame. And what we're gonna do is we'll trace it out We'll cut close to the line. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna take this template with double stick tape, double sided stick tape, and we're going to duplicate this on these two pieces. Nice, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little trick. I, I know this is flat and flat. I like to just eliminate as much work as possible so we'll never have to touch that. And you'll see how that comes right in here. So I'm just gonna draw this out like this. Okay. And we'll just come around here. And once again, we are cutting about a sixteenth to an eighth away because this template will clean it all up for us. So nice. I'm going to trace one and I'm going to have you trace one. Okay. And there you go. Make sure you bring it down in the corner. Okay. My pencil control skills have greatly improved over the years, right? I'm, As I'm, I mess it up. I'm glad you, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm doing great. Somebody's getting a little cocky. Yeah, I gotta be careful with that. Cause I have nothing to be cocky. How about an extra hand here? Oh, yeah, thank you, sir. One more. So good job on getting the relief cuts on there. And now what we're gonna do is just cut the scroll out. Um, I would probably put one more right here into okay. that notch. All right, Sage, what's next? Okay, so we're gonna do some template routing with our router table. Oh, okay. Okay, now, there's a variety of ways to do this. We could have made a jig to hold this, but what I use a lot of the time, because this is such a small piece, we gotta be very careful with it. We're going to apply this with double stick tape on here. Remember what our anchor points were right down in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we're gonna see, and you cut really perfect on this one, Big D. Okay, where we're just gonna trim this to be the exact replica of the template. Okay. And I'll show you how to set it up on the router table. Sounds good. So the first thing we're gonna do is right here. I love this double stick tape and I'm gonna put, use it quite a bit of it because I don't want it to move on there. Okay, now the key to this, as you'll see, is the removal of this afterwards. Okay. Okay, because you don't want to break this template. It can be quite fragile. So the other thing I'll do is I'll stick another piece down in here. And I'm not worried about it overlapping because I will trim it. Okay. okay, and you'll see that in a second. And I'm gonna come up here and I'll have you Okay, now here is, see this horn right here? Mm -hmm. That is going to be here, end grain. So you gotta be very, very cautious with this. Okay. So I'm gonna take it just like this, bring it in, I'm gonna cut it right here, because I want that fully supported around the bed. Now here's a little trick that I learned. You see my overlaps here? Mm -hmm. Okay, look, I'm gonna come in here, and I'm gonna trim that. Smart. Okay, I'm gonna have you do that too. I love these knives because I could take that and press it right up against there and cut right down. Okay. Perfect. Just do that, yep, perfect. So what I also like to do is I like to take, and before I peel this off, I like to burnish it in. Okay, just like this. And you can also see where, hey, I might have to trim that up 
it's no big deal, but for me, let's get it perfect right away. Right. Okay, and there we go. And then what we're gonna do is we'll come in here, and I just like to grab it like this, and you'll see how it pulls right away. And there's your tape, see? Nice, nice. and sticky. So I'll have you do this one. Okay. And I'm careful when I remove it so I don't get a lot of sawdust on it, so I can use it for both parts. There you go. Good job. Okay. So I'll do the first one. Okay. Okay. And what I remember, remember my reference point right in here. Yep. I'm going to grab that first. And I'm just going to take it nice and easy, making sure that I'm going to trim everything that I need trimmed on. Okay. And like I said, there's room for refinement on here. Oh, we got close there, but I still think we're going to nail it. And then I'll take it and adhere it so you'll see where it's really stuck on there. Nice. Okay? So, once again, we got to know how we're going to take the flow on this on the router table. Okay. And I'll show you some great tips and tricks with this. Sounds good. Have you ever used the router table before? No. Wow! We're learning a lot in this build series. <laughs> okay. This is... A different animal. Remember I told you with a handheld router we had the template on top and we followed it left to right. This is a different animal. The rotation, you can see the arrow right here. The rotation's this way. So we're, oh look, there's the arrow right there. So that means we are going to go right to left. So we're going to be following like this. Not a big deal. Okay. Okay. Now, see this bearing right here? I have this, this bit here. This is a compression bit. It's an up and down spiral. Okay. Okay, this is a really good template bit. I'm not too concerned today with grain direction because of the up-down spiral. Okay. Okay, boy, there's a lot to this. Um, we have to adjust this bearing so it rides this template that is absolutely to our standards, right? right. That we made. So, with this, I'm going to lower it. Chris, can you come in here? I'm going to bring it down just like this. I don't want to cut the template. I want to make sure I'm just following the template, but I still want to see with the cutter, and by the way, that cutter's right there, so I'm going to raise it just like that. I don't want to cut the template. For me, that's the right set on there, Okay. and we can always test it and go back and forth. Now, in all of that, we could start this up, and we could take it right into that bit. <laughs> Look where our hands are. It's a little dangerous, right? right? Okay, so on this router table, okay, and you'll see on other router tables, they have what a stat pin is, and it actually pivots your piece into there, make it a little safer. But with this, the nice thing about this guard, but also stat pin, is I got these three knobs in, and you see this right here? Okay, I'm going to tighten this up. So the nice thing with that stat pin is I'll be able to, look, bring that right in like this and then start shaving. See how nice that is? Nice. And I got it right up against there like this. Now, the other nice thing about this is this guard. I'm going to set it just like this. And we're just going to have to be really careful. But that'll prevent our hands from getting in there. Okay, so I'll do the first one. I'll have you do the second one. Okay. So now, that is a perfect 
piece right there. And of course, there'll be some sanding and where that end grain is, we'll take care of that with a Nicholson. It's awesome. Cool. So there's mine, now it's your turn. Oh geez. How do we get this off so I can do what okay. I Okay, so it's almost like it's welded on there, right? That's some good tape. Now, if I can teach you anything, you have so much work in this template so far. <laughs> and also getting this cherry roughed in, and now it's it's a perfect match to the template, right? Yep. I've done this before, and it's flabbergasted me. I was so upset. I don't want you to be there. Me either. Okay, we have to separate <laughs> this from this and put it back on here. Okay. Okay, so you can do one. All right. There's a variety of ways to do this. I've actually taken this screwdriver and uh, put a uh, chisel end on it. Mm. Okay, I love this tool here. It's a little uh, uh, tack remover, but I also have these other pry bars. This is what I want to teach you. I want to get in there somehow, okay, and separate it. And I don't want to pull it all off. I just want to get it going, okay. okay? That will be rounded off down there, okay? See that? Okay. And then slowly, slowly start to take it. You don't want to take it all at once, okay? Because okay? you don't want to break that MDF. Right. You want to get in there and ever so slightly. I mean, the tape, who cares? We'll put more tape on. But don't take it and go like that because you'll snap it. And just slowly open it up, okay? Perfect. And be very careful. Take your time with this part because you have a lot of time in there. And there it goes. It's starting to pop apart. See that right there? That's a weak point. You want to support it as much as possible to pull it off. Be gentile. Okay, so see that? That's still pretty good. Okay. You have some here. We'll make sure that all comes off. See that right there? That little imperfection. It's okay. That'll be rounded over with a rasp. I'm not concerned, but boy, look how nice that came out, huh? Yeah. Okay, and all the all the those marks right there, that burning, that all come off. Okay. Now, let's see how tacky that is. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put a little bit more in the middle here. Okay. The one thing you don't want is this to move. But as I'm doing this, okay, <clears throat> make sure that you don't have any sawdust getting in there because that could separate it. So I'm just gonna cut it and we'll, we'll get it stuck on again. Sounds good. When I put this on, I want that little cut mat completely gone and that one as well, which we'll get around the horn. That'll be fine. Let's see if we get good adherence. It should be fine. You're just gonna take your time on this. Always. Okay, Big D, what I want to have you do is I want you to start against the stat pin, okay? And then as soon as you get it, you're going to bring it into the bearing, and I'm going to have you cut down here all the way to here. Now, remember, when you do this stat pin, make sure your hand is never underneath this. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to have you nice and easy do that, okay? okay. What's up? <laughs> You're scraping. Here, pull it, pull it towards you now. Pretty cool. How's that feel? Good. Pretty good. So that's called proper template cleaning, as I say. Template care, and that'll last forever. You know what that brings me back to? Our, hmm. our very first video we did over a year ago. You're right. When we put a burr on that cabinet scraper. So what we'll be doing is you're using a lot of those techniques over 2022 to create all kinds of great builds and stuff like that. So as we always say, be positive. Stay shot.